Hey, Leo Aquino here, and today we're going to use this very old effects from AE called Scale Wipe, used famously by Jimonk's short film called Finn. But before that, let's play the intro. <laughs> Okay, first thing, here's the short film of Jimang's film, Finn, which was shown 20 years ago. This was during the heyday of Flash. As you can see on the film, he uses the scale wipe extensively. If you don't know who Jemang is, he was a famous Flash developer and motion graphics animator during the early 2000s and he's also responsible for creating those beautiful graphical user interfaces and HUDs on such movies like Tron Legacy and also Oblivion. He was one of my idols back then when I was starting to learn After Effects 20 years ago. And yes, I'm that old. So if you have time, please check his portfolio for inspiration. Alright, let's fire up After Effects and let's start using Scale Wipe. This will be a very short tutorial. First thing we should do is create a composition. File, New, New Project, then New Composition. We're going to use HD, 1920 by 1080. Pixel aspect ratio will be square pixels. Frame rate will be 29.97, about 1 minute, then OK. Second is, let's drag this footage here. Go here at effects and presets then type scale wipe or just use video Copilot's FX console. Just press ctrl and enter then type scale wipe and try to mess around with the settings. First is the direction. Let's make this about 90 degrees. Then on the stretch settings try increasing the number probably to 100 and on the center settings you can set the direction whichever you want. And I'll be choosing to go to the right side or just use the anchor point to make it easier. Drag it until you get to an area you're satisfied with and I'll be stopping here. By the way, you can also try testing on the direction whichever you want. Top or bottom, just mess around with it. Right, I think that's about it. There are too many applications where you can use this. For instance, this can be a great transition from one footage to another. Let's drag another footage. Let's drag the footage somewhere here and let's animate this one. Let's create a keyframe, press U to see the keyframes. Let's create another keyframe and let's change this value to 0. Let's add scale wipe on the other video clip. Control plus enter, then scale wipe. Let's have the same settings as the other one. Let's make this 90 degrees. Let's create a keyframe, press U to see all the keyframes and let's add again another keyframe. Then let's also change the value to 100 and make some adjustments on the video clip. Then afterwards, let's create opacity. Press T, then click to create a keyframe. Press U to show all the keyframes. Let's change the value this to zero. Then let's test it. Alright, not bad. You can refine this more. You can also create a cool text transition reveal using this very same technique. Let's create another composition. Type a text, then before applying the scale wipe effect, pre-comp this first so the effect will cover the whole canvas. Layer, then pre-compose, then OK. Control plus enter, then scale wipe. Change the stretch value from 0 to 100. Then animate the center from left to right. Create a keyframe, then drag the scrubber from the position you want. Then close the keyframe. Press F9 for easy ease. Alright, let's test this. Oh. 
All right, that's it for me today. I hope you got something from this tutorial. If you like it, click on the like button. If you enjoy it, subscribe. And if you want to be notified, click the bell icon. See you guys on the next vid. Sign out.